two pints and a puppet. Well, that's your test of true friendship. So you'd have two pints with. Oh, that's to mind you, puppet. I've got mates who wouldn't have one pint with. <laughs> Summer! Yeah, hello, uh, ambulance, please. Do we want a hot sweet tea? Well, that'll make it all right. She's just trying to feel useful. Silly cow. Who knows how long that little rat was up there on his own with Summer? She couldn't have been in the flat for longer than a minute. We just had a chat just there about why she was home early and how Paul had got on in the court case this morning, etc. And you really didn't hear anything from upstairs? No, I had my headphones on. I was warbling. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. We came around the corner and the lad, he was stood right there. What age? What was he wearing? It's all a blur. 15, 16. Black hoodies, black trackies, the usual. You spend a lot of time visiting schools. Did you recognise him? Well, I would now. I looked him dead in the eye, but listen, I, I need to go. She's only allowed one person with her, so... We'll see you at the hospital. I hope she's OK. Thanks. Just breathe, mate. You're in shock. You'll be all right. Yeah, will she, though? Sit down. It's stressing me out. In the ambulance, was she making sense? I did most of the talking. She's trying to keep her awake. She couldn't even tell me where she was hurting. What a day. I thought your sentencing was bad enough. I'd rather have gone to jail than this. It could have been worse, I suppose. I mean, she did disturb a burglar. I think she had the nouse to get away. It wasn't a burglar. Yeah, cool. Good man. Hey, and uh, thanks for bringing me back so quickly. See ya. That was Ed. Asked him to give the flat bells a once over. Oh, I didn't even think. You had other things to worry about. The street door's not too bad, but the um, flat door probably got booted in. But Ed can make it safe. It was a burglary, no doubt. See? Well, the doctor's just come out of Summer's cubicle. I think she's done checking her over. Come on. You care about her and all. Her mind was working overtime. Brain damage, broken bones, the works. Yeah, a bit of concussion and a sprained wrist seems like a result. I'd still rather be taking her home. To what, though? I'm keeping her in for observation. It might be a blessing in disguise if what Ed said is true. Yeah, well, he only bobbed his head upstairs. He didn't do a full inspection. Damage might not be that bad. The way our looks going today, I want to hold my breath. Now, come on. I need to go and face the music. Someone needs an overnight bag. Yeah, what? I can get a cab. Actually, yeah. Uh, kind of fancied walking. I need to clear my head. Actually, yeah, I could, um, yeah. Probably do stretch my legs as well. I'll um, be right behind you. to talk to you. We can't stop him. He's been a star today. Two pints and a puppy star. Come on. When you get this message, you ring me. Right, I got another job for you. Because today was a car crash, literally. I need my prints wiped off this mess. I need to see you on your own. No excuses.